so here is the intact brain with brain stem and cerebellum first we will cut the brain stem so as to separate the brain stem with the cerebellum the entire thing will get separated and then we will remove this portion of cerebellum to expose the fourth ventricle from behind so let's just cut the midbrain to separate the brain stem so we will have to try to preserve as much as the brain stem so these two are cross cerebri so i'm cutting the midbrain from cross cerebri these two are the mammillary bodies and this is the interpeduncular fossa that is what we have discussed in base of the brain i am nearer to the optic tract so this is what i am cutting okay here i am cutting the cross cerebri from its medial aspect let's just see it is now getting separated now again i'll have to put the nick bit deeper inside so as to completely separate the midbrain it's very soft so we need to be very much cautious while putting uh, the cuts with the knife else some other important structures will get damaged see now it is almost separated similarly on other side i'll have to cut okay now fine so here i have separated this is you can see the cerebellum so here will be the vermis and deep inside will be lingula and nodule that is what we have discussed these two are cerebellar hemispheres and there are three cerebellar peduncles that connects the brain stem with the cerebellum so here this is the middle one middle cerebellar peduncle on other side and this is what we have seen flocules and all this we need to preserve these two are the midbrain again you can appreciate the cerebral aqueduct so deep inside will be the fourth ventricle so we need to cut everything piece by piece so let's just try to remove this cerebellum so as to expose the fourth ventricle from behind see this is the pineal gland just it's irrelevant to this today's topic but i wanted to show you this is a pineal gland here it is very much soft delicate and but it is preserved so as i wanted to show you these two are superior colliculi these two are inferior colliculi part and parcel of midbrain now, now let me just remove all this these are fissures and folia i am removing this is white core of cerebellum or white matter of cerebellum deep inside the cortex
so we have partially opened the roof and these two are lateral dorsal recesses and deep inside will be the ventricular cavity here will be deep to it will be the inferior medullary velum and deep to it will be the superior medullary velum You can see two inferior cerebellar arteries, their branches, and they are, as we have discussed, they are forming choroid plexus. Okay, so this is the choroid plexus. See this. This is the nodule. So here will be the inferior medullary vela. We have removed the dorsal layer. So this will be the ventral layer of tilacroidia, and you can see deep inside the choroid plexus, see this. Now you can appreciate this is the choroid plexus and you can see the lateral recess and that will enter into the ventricle, see this. I'm getting middle cerebellar peduncle. See, this is pons and this is middle cerebellar peduncle, and I'm cutting this. This is the uh, flocules, as we have discussed, and vestibular cochlea now. So here is the lingula, this is the superior medullary velum and these two are stumps of trochlear now, see this over here it is preserved, this is frenulum veli and this is superior medullary velum and this is lingula and these two are superior cerebellar peduncles. Let me just clean it a bit and so as the things will be more clear this is I am cutting middle cerebellar peduncle here also I need to cut Now this is the nodule and this is the lingula. So in between these two here will be the median dorsal recess and these two are little dorsal recesses.
So lateral dorsal recesses are situated above the inferior medullary velum. This is inferior medullary velum on either side. And within the white core, we will get median dorsal recess over here. So this is a zoom view. You can now appreciate here will be the inferior medullary velum. Okay, this is nodule. And this is how the choroid plexus looks like, vascular fringe on either side. These are the vessels. And this is what I wanted to show you is, this is inferior medullary velum and in the center in lower part, you can appreciate foramen of McKendy, through which the CSF will drain out into the cisterna magna. So this is foramen of McKendy and deep inside will be the ventricular cavity. See this. So these two are lateral dorsal recesses. Here will be the lateral recesses. And this is foramen of McKendy. Okay, here will be the median dorsal recess. Just see, it is empty deep inside. So here is a recess. So I have removed the choroid plexus and this is nodule I am reflecting up just to show you the inferior medullary velum. Can you see this deep inside? Very thinned out. It's a single layer of pyre matter which is left right now. And in the center, you can appreciate foramen of McGendy over here. So this is very thin. It's very fragile. So this is inferior medullary velum. This is a last portion of white core of cerebellum and I'm opening it. Okay, now it is exposed. So here will be the median dorsal recess. These two are lateral dorsal recesses. And now you can clearly make out the interior. This is how the floor looks like.